here I am soaking the commercial gold over glaze transfers. These are also known as water slides. And you will see here in a minute that they are water slides because when they soak in the water, they literally slide off of the backing and then you can put them on the piece. Before you do that, you need to clean the pieces. And so I'm cleaning it with rubbing alcohol. And after they've soaked in the water just for like 30, 45 seconds or so, they slide off and you can place them anywhere you want on the item that you're putting them on. And I don't adhere them until I have most of what I want on there and knowing that that's the exact placement I want it. And then I take the paper towel there and I dab any extra water out of the backing. And that gets it stuck onto the piece. And I'll just keep doing that here for a little bit more. And I do cut as much to the design as I can. It just helps eliminate any extra possible discoloration or anything like that on it. This mug was kind of a challenge because of the shape that I had made it. And so when it comes out of the kiln, I will know if it was a success or not. But once all of this is done, I then will fire the pieces again and it is a much lower temperature. It goes to a little over 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. And yes, that's still incredibly hot, but when you are dealing with almost 2200 degrees, 1300 is a very low temp. If you can believe it, this little tiny jar of gold, and it is liquid gold, is $65. And so when you have gold pieces, the price will be a lot higher. And here I'm just putting little dots here and there just kind of to make more handmade stars.
Now, this is something that I need to practice more on is doing any of the hand painting with the gold on like on the rim and um, anywhere else that I may choose to put. So I do clean up as best as I can, but when you have gold that is too thin, it leaves not an appealing residue behind. And so it needs to be thick enough, but as you can see, if it's too thick, then it runs. And so just trying to clean up as I go. And then when I get done enough, then I kind of take the rubbing alcohol again and kind of go over and hope that it's a good smooth finishing touch. Now we have some mother of pearl. Mother of pearl is a lot less expensive. This jar here is a little less than $10. And so it's much larger than that gold. 
Um, every time that you're using mother of pearl or gold, you should be wearing a respirator. Um, it is very, very smelly if you don't. Um, even with the garage door wide open and the walk-in door next to me open, there was a lot of air movement, but um, I still was getting a headache. Um, so I was sure to put the respirator on. As you do the mother of pearl, you kind of have to go around in circles. You don't want to do like true brush strokes. You would be able to see that when it is all fired. And so you can kind of see that I'm just swirling it around. I'm making sure that the brush strokes are not even or anything like that. When this is all fired, and I can put this in with the same firing as the gold, but when it's all done, it actually may look a little dusty. And so you can just take a rag and um, kind of clean it all off. This Christmas tree napkin holder I'm really excited about. And there's a really good possibility I'm going to keep one of these or if not several of them. Um, I love everything Mother of Pearl and um, of course Christmas as well. But this was a lot of fun and I really can't wait to see how they turn out in the morning when I open the kiln. When cleaning the brushes that you use for mother of pearl or gold, you should be using some kind of an extract, an oil, um, like an essential oil of some kind. I like tea tree oil or eucalyptus, lavender, any of those work. And you also cannot cross contaminate them. If you do, it's gonna burn off and not be a very pretty color whatsoever. So you have to keep your brushes separate as well as the cleaning agent. This here is pretty well the exact reason why I don't truly adhere the decals until I know where I want to place them because I want, did not want two of the same trees to be next to each other. And so I just lightly placed them on there. There's still a lot of water underneath them. And so I was able to move them around to the places that I wanted until I had it and then I can take all the water out from behind them.
some of the commercial overglaze decals have a yellow background and others do not as you can see here those flowers do not but the butterflies do it's not something to be worried about as it will burn off in the firing and the only thing that will be left is the gold i did do a couple other pieces that i didn't film here and i will show you the results in the morning <laughs> 